we've got five of the largest publishers in the world that are supporting us in this and are going to have all their books on the store. And we're going to open up the floodgates for the rest of the publishers in the world uh, starting this afternoon. So we're going to have a lot of books on the bookstore. We're very excited about this. iPad. The iPad with its 9.7 inch touch screen and a starting price of $4.99 will let users surf the web, do email, watch video, organize photos, listen to music, read newspapers, magazines, and books, and games. Steve Jobs talks about people being able to hold the internet in their hand, and he says anybody who's used an iPhone or an iPod Touch knows how to use this device already. Major publications from the New York Times to Sports Illustrated are developing new media applications for the iPad. Will uh, people have to pay for this content? Absolutely, it's valuable. This is very valuable. Valuable content. The possibilities, you know, are almost endless. It's it's intuitive, and our stuff just looks so great. But as tech reviewers at today's unveiling twittered about the iPad, it was San Francisco. Adding fun things like the shifter. Again, really intuitive. The user just swipes up and down with his finger to change gears. We also have so much screen real estate, we added mirrors. Simply tap on the mirror to look behind you. Yeah, well, it's got to... Be careful where you're looking if you're driving. But other than just a large screen and it being completely touch sensitive, again, for us, performance is really important. And a game like Need for Speed really pushes the limits. So we want to show you exactly how fast this device in this game really goes. Where the fact that the iPad doesn't have a camera and uh, it can't run background apps. And uh, the third is uh, that uh, there's no flash and all uh, prints and calls and, and video calls through apps like Skype. Right, and so what are they? YouTube, uh, Apple does have a YouTube app that will be pre-installed and uh, it's formatted correctly so you can watch YouTube videos, but the problem is... Francisco, and with personal technology columnist for the Wall Street Journal, Walt Mossberg. So Walt, first impressions here, what do you think? Well, it's uh, typical Apple grace and beauty. It's very thin, it's... I just felt one for a minute. It feels good in the hand. And um, I was really quite struck by the fact that they did this sitting in kind of an easy chair, Steve Jobs and his executives. They, and they kept using the phrase, holding the internet in your hand, making the internet uh, and the things you do more intimate and flying on it. I mean, I, I would think it's going to be interesting to see the breakout between people who buy the 3G. There was an audible boo in the room when it was identified that the carrier was AT&T. A lot of people are unhappy with AT&T. But 